Hi everyone, this is Michael Laboo. I'm a technical consulting engineer with the Data Center Route Switch Tech team within the CX organization at Cisco. This video is going to discuss Layer 3 routing over VPC and the VPC enhancements needed to successfully create a routing adjacency over a VPC enabled VLAN. Let's first start by going over our topology for this video and what our end goal is. We can see in this topology we're trying to form an OSPF adjacency from 9K1 to 9K3 and 9K4 using interface VLAN 10. In 9K3 and in 9K4 are in a VPC domain and are connected to N9K2 via virtual port channel 10. Now if we take a look at N9K1's OSPF neighbors, we see that the adjacency to N9K4 is in a full state. So we have successfully formed an OSPF adjacency with N9K1 and N9K4. However, if we look at our OSPF adjacency with N9K3, we can see that it's stuck in an exchange state. If we now move to N9K2, we can see that the port channel 10 has two interfaces, ETH16 and ETH13. If we check CDP neighbors, we can verify that ETH16 connects to N9K3 and that ETH13 connects to N9K4. Now we know that OSPF packets need to pass between N9K1, N9K3, and N9K4. So let's verify which interface of port channel 10 these packets will take. If we run the command show port channel load balancing forwarding path interface port channel 10 source IP 10.10.10.1 destination IP 10.10.10.3 and if we also check the same command for 10.10.10.4 as the destination IP, we can see that both flows will take ETH13, which is destined to N9K4. This is determined by the port channel hashing algorithm. This is what causes the issue with our OSPF adjacency between N9K1 and N9K3. The OSPF link state update that is meant for N9K3 is hashed to N9K4. This link state update only has a TTL of 1. When N9K4 receives this update, which is meant for N9K3, it decrements the TTL to 0 and drops the packet, which is why our OSPF adjacency between N9K1 and N9K3 is stuck in an exchange state. If we use the ETH analyzer tool on N9K4, we can clearly see that the link state update for 9K3 is landing on N9K4, and a TTL exceeded message is being generated. To overcome this issue, the VPC enhancement layer 3 pure router was introduced as support for forming unicast routing protocol adjacencies over a VPC. This is done by allowing the unicast routing protocol packets with a TTL of 1 to be forwarded across the VPC pure link without decrementing the TTL of the packet. As a result, unicast routing protocol adjacencies can be formed over a VPC or VPC VLAN without issue. If we go into the VPC domain configuration of N9K3 and N9K4, we can add the Layer 3 Pure Router configuration and verify OSPF neighbors on 9K1. Here we can see that our OSPF neighborships in 9K3 and in 9K4 have successfully come up. 